Hello Star Wars fans and welcome back to another update from the Apple Tree. Um, today we're going to be discussing the upcoming Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Uh, Disney Plus UK just came out and said that they recommended that ages 9 and up watch this series, which is very exciting news for many Star Wars fans for a variety of different reasons. Today I'm going to share my opinion of what I think uh, of why I think that Obi-Wan Kenobi received this rating and what the outcome it will have on the end of the series. Uh, first off, I'm going to start with why did it receive this rating. Um, since the series received a lower rating than both The Mandalorian and Boba Fett, Mandalorian said that they wanted, uh, recommended that 14 year olds or above watch that series. And you can understand why with some of the content that was included in that series. And the book of Boba Fett was similar, but um, going down from 14 years old to nine years old is a drastic difference for Obi-Wan, which has many Star Wars fans questioning what kind of what can we expect from this uh, series? And I do expect that we will still see some violence, like similar to what we see in the Mandalorian, uh, uh, lightsaber fights for sure, as we've already seen some in the trailer. Um, but I do not expect it to be too graphic or gory. Um, I don't expect that we're you're going to see a lot of um, sexual content. So this was rated for kids. Um, I also don't believe that you're going to see too much uh, drugs or anything like that. Uh, I do expect that you'll see some Dana scenes. Um, that Obi-Wan may have to go and get some information just like we saw um, in the original A New Hope um, when you saw Obi-Wan have to go in to talk to Han Solo. I do expect that you'll see some stuff um, involved in those types of scenes. But I do not expect that there will be a lot of language. Uh, in the original trilogy, uh, Obi-Wan rarely cursed. If anything, he it was very, very light. So I do expect that this series is going to be one of the more family-friendly series for um, any Disney Plus show that's come out recently, which is, gr which is really great because um, you don't really need any of that content, and it's really good to be able to um, enjoy um, Star Wars as a kid because growing up, I remember uh, watching um, both the prequel trilogy, the original trilogy, and just recently the sequel trilogy, and it was great to be able to watch all that and not have to worry about uh, skipping a scene or um, just talking after it and trying to make sure that we understand what's right and what was wrong about the film. Um, the second question was, what outcome will come from watching the, the Kenobi series? Is, is it gonna fail? Is it gonna flop? Is it going to be overly successful? Um, I have to say for a fact that the fact that this film, this series has come out and said that it's going to be nine years old rated um, is kind of surprising, especially after all the news surrounding the um, Don't Say Gay bill um, and Disney Plus pushing their agenda. For me, this this is very, uh, it's a sight for sore eyes. So because um, I do not expect any of that type of content to be in this series. Um, I don't think that it would be able to get by with a 9 plus rating um, with that. So uh, this is very encouraging for me that it sounds like to me that Obi-Wan Kenobi is going to f focus on the story of Obi-Wan and his journey from the end of Revenge of the Sith to the beginning of A New Hope rather than focusing on politics. So I do expect that this series is going to do very well. I do expect that people are going to want a second season. Uh, depending on how the series goes, um, we may get a second season. The Awan McGregor has come out and said that he's willing to do another season or some kind of an adaptation with Obi-Wan in it again. But um, that remains to be seen and what happens uh, in the series. The series is going to be started to premiere on May 27, 2022. Um, the first two episodes are going to be available on that date and then after that an episode is going to be released weekly on Fridays. We're going to be have a review out for them by Saturday so always check back to see what um, new content that we have and what our thoughts are and let us know in the comments what you think about this uh, new recent news and if you're going to watch this series um, thank you and have a good day.